They just try to sell a bunch of little quick singles and they burn out and they put out a new one and they burn out and they put out a new one. People don't even listen to a body of work anymore. So this past weekend was packed with new releases and remixes and I will say I'm not impressed at all. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. Also do consider subscribing if you enjoy the content of today's video. First off, the partnership with Nikki's label, I don't know how to feel about it. Like, we'll just have to see if it was a good business move. Now the song, honestly, I don't think Nikki was needed in the song. Her verse was nothing we haven't heard before. I prefer the original version to this because it feels like adding a feature to the song was just create much more buzz around Ice Spice because like Ice Spice is the reigning girl, the it girl in the rap industry. She has been able to mix hip hop and pop to a level where it's like quite new. It's quite new to the music industry and um, yeah, that's what I feel about the song. It was okay, but the feature wasn't needed. This was also a business move, and I'm talking about the Kill Bill remix featuring Doja Cat. I would have loved another verse from Doja. I felt like Caesar's first verse was just removed for Doja to try and come in, and it didn't really feel organic to me. I would have preferred if they gave Doja another verse and like allowed her to interpolate so many things into the song because I feel like Doja could have done a lot, a lot, a lot, lot more with Kill Bill remix. You can try me. So this was Georgia's first single in a while and it's chill, it's welcoming. I would have loved a feature on the song though, probably from any, but all the same it was alright. We all know Georgia Smith is not a rowdy artist, she loves to like, you know, take her time and she's more into the alt pop category or rather alt R&B slash pop category. I wasn't aware that Jesse Nelson dropped a new single. I was just browsing through YouTube and I came across the video. Now I will say, it's not a bad song, I just feel the timing wasn't right. A lot of heavy hitters released this past weekend and I don't think anyone is checking for Jesse right now. Now the song, the song is basically about domestic violence and it's quite a jarring parallel from singing about liking bad boys to finally getting one and then he doesn't treat you right. It's a bit of an overwhelming, you know, parallel, but it's a good song. Jessie still needs to work a lot more on her tone and the way she says certain words. I feel she's falling into the category of cursive singers a la Caesar and Georgia Smith, Halsey. She says certain words and I'm like trying to scramble for what it means or what she's saying. But other than that, it was okay. That's all for today's video. It's been a fun time discussing new releases with you guys and also please do consider subscribing. Let me know what you think about these songs in the comment section and I'll see you on the next one.